My name is William O'Brien, and I live in the town of Bethune, Colorado. It was a peaceful town, up until the case I took that would shake the fabrics of all I could ever understand about society. I learned that this society is nothing more than a game, and I am a part of it. A young teenage girl was found dead in the forest on June 24, 1998. She had been found shot in the neck during a search party on Jackson Road. I was working with another detective, Chuck Miller, and we had only had circumstantial evidence on one person, Danny Barnes. Mr. Barnes, multiple eyewitnesses matched you with that scene at that time. Well, I wasn't there. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Danny, I swear I know it was you. We already know this. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. Danny, I swear to God. It wasn't me. I'm telling you. I wasn't there. I have an alibi. Mr. Barnes, we can help you. I have an alibi. I wasn't there. Danny, tell the truth. I wasn't there. You can ask my girlfriend. All right. Your girlfriend. My girlfriend. Who's your girlfriend? Antasha Baxter. I was there 9.30 over at her house because an ex had robbed into her house and took everything. An ex? What do you mean by an ex? She had, she had an ex-boyfriend who she broke up with to be with me because she loved to go out hunting with me and we would play all sorts of games with each other. No, he's a scumbag. Double check it. Give him a fair chance. All right. Off the paper sheet, small. All right. I received the records the next day. Well, checks out, man. Guys, clean. What do we do now? I don't know, man. Sounds like a cold case to me. Let's work on it for about two days or so. A couple more days is a lot of time we could spend on other valuable cases. We just need to shut this one closed. The case had haunted me ever since. It was approximately two years afterwards when it suddenly blew up in my face. I was still a detective, but my wife had divorced me. I handled it well, but my partner, he didn't do so well with his experience. We hadn't worked together since that case, but then it happened. Come in. Detective William Bryan, Detective Chuck Miller. I know you worked on the case with a young girl two years prior, but now I have a game for you. Come to the local library, 10 a.m. tomorrow. There will be a letter there that you will have to find. Do not be late or another life will be taken. See you there. This was something I could not ignore. I had to participate. After I had reported the letter to my chief officer, I went to the library to meet this person. However, he never showed. I was just about to leave when he showed up. Chuck. It's been two years. 
Yeah, man. Well, it seems like we'll have a lot of time to spend together on this case. Yeah. Officer Wilson told me you got one of those notes, too. Yeah, same thing. Let's get to looking, then. All right, man. Let's get to it. Look where a party began, and it was rushed by the grains of sand. What could this mean? I have no idea. Party. 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 Search party. There was a search party by the old Jackson Road about two years ago. In case we were Yeah. Start there. The next day, we drove out to Jackson Road and searched the woods for the next clue. There must be some type of clue we're looking for. Yeah. This hill, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Whoa. The street's been broken. Someone's been here. Yeah. Someone carved a path. They didn't want to lose their way back. Definitely something up about this. There. Yeah, let's check that out. Right. Detective Williams! Detective Williams and Detective Chuck, is anybody in here? Seems to be clear. Abandoned in here. Yeah. Oh my Jesus. Oh my God. Call it in, call it in, Chuck. All right. We got a body found off of Jackson's Road in a white shed. Chuck, he's been dead for weeks. Good God. Who could do this mess up stuff? Something felt familiar, and my inner voice was calling out to me. I combed throughout my mind until it finally hit me. We would play all sorts of games with each other. Chuck, I got our guy. We've got you, Barnes. Nothing you can do. What do you mean? We finally got you. You scum. I don't know what to. I don't know what this is about! We know you killed Samuel King. I didn't harm. We found the body. We know you sent the letters. Game's over, Danny. We win. <laughs> you two are good. I like you two. You two are good. Why? Why in God's name would you do something like this? For the game, of course. A game that requires bravery, courage, knowledge, and most of all, experience. However, you two failed so miserably last time. 
I just had to do it again. But why murder, Danny? Murder? Murder serves as the motivation. What's a game without any good motivation? And what better motive than your reputation on the line and potential lives? The game's over now, Danny. Not quite. I'm not the only one playing this game. You two are not the only ones playing this game. It's not happening here. It's happening worldwide. The game is always playing. It's never over. Another day, even, even now, someone else is dead. Even now, there are people just like you two, figuring it out. I merely just enjoy my position in all this, being the murderer and all. It's so fun, tricking people. And it's the thrill of it that makes me really enjoy it. And I bet you two enjoy it too. The satisfaction, the relief. Don't you? Put your hands on the table. You're under arrest. Detective. Did you have fun? Six go. <laughs> You want to redo that? Yeah. Those no shoes were harmed in the making of this film, except for that one. Um, anything you want to say, Zach? Anything you want to say about uh, you, the loss of? I'm very sorry for your loss, man. That's what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my shit! We finally got you, scum. <laughs> so we did. We just did a scene uh, in the field house, and what we did not expect whatsoever was to have a bunch of wasp in there. Uh, this guy was traumatized the most. I think he's gonna have a little PTSD from that. Here, here we have ourselves a, a war veteran. War veteran in the war wasps. What do you gotta say, bud? Your shit's been ruined. You just went in a room full of mosquitoes. Well, not mosquitoes, but wasps. What do you have to say about today? I'm scared of wasps. <laughs>